idea is to build a full-size Lycotechnic drivable replica of McLaren P1 that we will drive on Silverstone circuit. So this is first time for us to create a Lycotechnic model with a suspension chassis. There is no carbon fiber. We need to find a suitable texture using the Lycotechnic elements. We wanted the skin to be flexible so that we can replicate all the curvature that's, that's on the real car. When you see something that you only imagined a few months ago come to life, it's worth every stress along the way. This is outrageous. At a glance, this is a P1. 340,000 pieces make up this build. The total weight of the LEGO Technic elements, 380 kilograms. It's about engineering a car that has the structural integrity and functionality to survive one of the toughest race circuits in the world. I suppose we should get it on track and go meet our driver. That's crazy, huh? Hello, hello. How are you? Hello, hello. Nice to meet you all. I feel sorry for you about to build it. <laughs> <laughs> you got to try and get in first. Oh God, I'm nervous now. Build something like this. Sometimes you have the feeling it's not possible. We only have one chance to do this. We only have one car, one driver. This is it. It has to work. How does it feel through the first corner? It actually drives pretty good. Pressure's on now. In the slipstream from the cameraman. The last few corners, you're so close. Shortest distance possible, nibbling the curb again. Cross the line! How was it? I'm sweating. <laughs> <laughs> what did it feel like? It felt like a car. Wow. Like actually the, the steering I thought was pretty good. Cops, I did it flat. You know, uh, like that's what I was hoping. Your wing mirrors flat a little the bit. The team were a little bit nervous. <laughs> when you ride, you know, when I was, you rode I the was still like, oh I better should, I should stay off the curves yeah. here. It looked incredible. Yeah, it's mint. It's been amazing to witness and what a great way to honor the legacy of the McLaren P1. The LEGO Technic engineers at McLaren managed to achieve something truly remarkable and push their own limits of building for real. 